hello, my friends. This is Nicole Scott from the YouTube channel, Gorgeous Gray Movement. And we have a very special guest from the East Coast of the US. This is Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Hey, Nicole. Thank you for having me. I feel very honored and I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I, um, I just want to introduce the audience to who you are, your Instagram handle, which I absolutely love. And they'll probably get it just looking at you. See Gypsy Mermaid. Look at that hair. OMG. <laughs> like total mermaid hair, but it's like silvers and beautiful grays. And oh my gosh, just a gorgeous. And I just want to say, um, this is like, if you want to follow her, which I highly recommend you do. She's all about pro age. She's all about natural menopause. It's all about um, oils, young living oils, business mentorship, and of course, encouraging women to own their, you know, their natural beauty. And we're going to dive in with her story, because as you guys know, I love stories. And it's the stories that oftentimes we get comments to say it was the story, it was the stories that pushed that woman over the fence to say, I can do this too. And this is what these stories are meant to do is to say, if she can do it, I can do it. So Sherry, we're going to dive in. Uh, I want you to just dive in a little bit um, with the audience to say, because you've been doing it for a while. As you say, she's one of the senior silvers out there. And I say senior in the way of not her age, mm -hmm. but just I because, am. well, I don't think so. You look amazing, but just... <laughs> You know, for me, I'm only just over two years in. How many years have you been into the game of let's just own natural beauty? Um, it'll be six years in May. Yeah, six years, right? So that's yes. what I mean by senior. But let's talk. What was like, why did you do it? That's what every woman wants to hear. Why did you do it? That was before all the hype on social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, my story is, I feel like it's really different than a lot of women. Um, I, I knew I was going to do it. And I had a goal. And my goal was in my 50th year of life, which uh, was in 2015, I decided that this was it. This is the year. And when I turn 50, I'm going to get this short, sassy, little pixie cut. And I'm just going to let it all grow out. And so my, my son got married in May, um, 2015. And that, that was my last highlight job. I had, my hair was really dark brown and I got highlights and it was about to hear and it was curly. And I'm like, and I knew like, okay, get it done for the wedding. And then that's it. It's only going to last a year. Okay. I, I had it all, I was all planned out. So it was only going to last a year, May, 2015 last highlight and then from there to the following may 2016 it's going to grow out and i turned 50 in october of 2015 i think that's right um but back then i had no support system whatsoever and i did not there silver sisters wasn't even a thing mm -hmm. i don't know if you want me to go into that part of it or not yeah go for it <laughs> okay. yeah let's let's okay. do that mm -hmm. i didn't know if there was another question about that or not okay. and um but I just knew I was determined that's what was going to happen. You know, it wasn't even a question. I was like, I set other goals in my life or with my business. I just, this is what I was going to do. Um, I never thought about it before then. I'm like, okay, when you turn 50, that's when you should go silver. You know, that's when you should do it. You shouldn't do it before then because eh, you're too young. And I was, uh, I had silver, silver sparkles uh, since my early thirties. But, you know, like we all do, we have that box of dye or we're going and spending $200 at the hair salon to get them covered up. And um, I just, I hated it. I would go to the beach and I was like, oh gosh, I know when the wind blows, they're showing, you know, cause my hair was almost black. And then I started doing, you know, before I, I did that last highlight, I started doing highlights. Um, and that, I kind of started there, but that really, I didn't feel like that was part of my, my journey. But in May, 2015, cold turkey, no support, didn't know another person that was going through this journey. Um, and 10 months into it, I discovered a group on Facebook, Going Gray Guide. And I still, I get emotional about it because that first 10 months was so hard. And um, it was totally a time of, complete personal growth but I remember like on Mother's Day or no, no I think it was Mother's Day um, being at my daughter's house when I was in the middle of the transition no this was towards the end 
and um thinking you know i had the demarcation and i she gave me a gift and she took pictures and um and i went to the bathroom like i feel so ugly mm. you know i just feel so ugly and I forget that women go through that and they feel that, you know, and then I found that group. I found that group towards the end of my journey and became an admin of it. And oh my, oh my gosh, all these other women are going through this together. But then in May, 2016, I got my, um, I went into my hair stylist and during that year transition, I got a lot of uh, layers chopped in to get the dye out. I was all about getting the toxic dye out of my hair. And so that's why it was only going to last a year. So I went in about a year later and said, okay, time to chop the rest of it out. And she did. And it didn't really make it that much shorter, but I just remember going to my car and just bawling because so much freedom and liberation just came over me that I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. It's still emotional to me six years later. It's just, there's just nothing like it. Oh, wow. Let's talk about that freedom. I think, you know, we hear that a lot. You're in a group. Um, I have the Gorgeous Gray Movement um, Facebook group. I started a couple years ago uh, just for that support. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I was like, well, you know, maybe if I get, because there was already groups out there, but I was like, I want to lead it. I want to commentary, you know, comment on the stuff. And I had no idea what was going to happen. And very quickly, we had, you know, a thousand plus women in the group. I was like, whoa, where did all these women come from? And, uh, and, and, and when women do go through this process and they get through, as you call it, the ugly stage or the, mm -hmm. um, you know, I want to hide from the world stage, the self-worth conversation. Um, that's a real one for, I think all, most women will yeah. feel that, but when you can get over that hump. Um, and it's going to be different for everyone. That hump is going to show up differently. Th then there's a sense of freedom, right? As you said, I did it, or mm -hmm. I chopped it off, or that last cut, or that, you know, whatever that represents for you, there's a freedom. So can you talk a little bit more about that freedom? Because there's so much more in the representation of freedom. Yeah. This is just one element of it, but it goes so much deeper. Yeah. I always encourage women that it's hard. Okay. And I love to empower women to do hard things, whether it be their hair in their business, in life, going live on Instagram. But, um, I just really try to use that transition time to just really find out who I was. And, um, and then, um, when it was over, it was like, the freedom was so much more, but it's so much deeper than hair. And, um, and I, I encourage women to, to seek that, you know, to seek that freedom that can come within yourself, not just because you're here, because we use this hair as our identity. Um, and there's so many times recently, especially I'm like, I want to cut it all off. I don't want to be identified as this long silver haired person. I want, <laughs> I want the inside to show. I want the beauty inside to, to, to shine. And and I, somebody tells me, oh gosh, no, you can't, you can't, you inspire me so much. But man, when that hair hit the floor on that last day, I just, it, it was so emotional for me. And it still mm -hmm. is because mm -hmm. I no longer hide behind the dye. And I'm, I'm, I'm constantly inspiring women. They're constantly mm -hmm. looking at me and wanting to know, wow, how did you do that? You know, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's so freeing. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when I was um, casually journaling through this, you know, transition, uh, I, I learned so much about myself. I was writing down my fears. I was writing down my insecurities. I was writing down about the, the judgments, um, writing down some of the negative comments. Um, but there, there was that like learning through it. And for women, if you are thinking about the transition, the journaling piece for me was really important and hence why I eventually turned it into a book, which I never planned on that, never planned on that. Mm -hmm. You just never know where your path will take you. I mean, the last thing I ever thought was I was going to be an author and write about gray. Are you kidding me? But I always just say, if you listen to the intuition of like, I need to do this for me, or mm -hmm. it's the right time, 
doors will open up for you on so many other levels. That's what I have learned from other women, right? Whether you stand for natural beauty like you do or pro aging, it's, there's this whole new awareness that shows up. Don't you agree? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about um, maybe some of the benefits that have happened in your life over the last six years since you let yourself um, own those sparkles um, and allow them to shine and not hide. What are some of the, the, the benefits that have showed up in your life beyond just, you know, gorgeous silver hair, which you had no clue what it was going to look like. You no. just took the chance, no. right? Every, no. everyone, well, if my hair looked like your Sherry, I would go, yeah. right? You hear that all the time, I'm sure. Yeah. And I, I didn't even think that when I was going through my journey, I just knew this is what I was going to do there, you know, I, but, and I always tell women, that's the beauty of it is that we each have a unique color and it's, and that I think I see women that they all are so unique, but uh, so much awareness. And I have a book in the making it's in here. <laughs> I just got to make it happen on the paper. But I, I think probably the biggest thing is just all of the amazing connections with women. And I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations um, when I see somebody who I know is just like, they are in the trenches and they are discouraged. I'm like back there, like, come on, girl, you got this, you got this, you know, come on, you got it, you got it. And, um, and just w giving other women what I wish I had had most of my journey. Mm -hmm. I knowing that more than anything. And just inspiring younger women. You know, I have people all the time, they're in their 20s or 30s. Oh, when I get to be, you know, young, older, I'm like, girl, I wouldn't just do it now. Just own it because it's such a beautiful thing and it's such a trendy thing right now. So to me, it's so easy right now to do it. Wow. But um, yeah, just the connections with women and being able to be used as an inspiration to women. These feelings that women have and these emotions are real. You know, and just like when I stood in front of that mirror and I cried, there are women that are secretly crying behind Instagram and behind closed doors mm -hmm. and they need someone to encourage them, empower them and um, just know that they're there for them. And that, that to me, out of everything has been the biggest thing and, and constantly just being stopped or seeing somebody out and being like, girl, you got this, you know, like I love going up to women and like, oh. <gasps> you're doing so good I'm so excited for you how long has it been you know just just being used as a tool to, to help. I love that uh you mentioned about going out to the world and seeing you know other women and giving them encouragement I would say if you guys are watching this right now women and you see a woman that is going through what looks like probably that transition this is what I'm asking of you to do go up give her a high five, encourage her, because let me tell you, it's probably one of the hardest transitions a woman will ever go other than maybe giving birth. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> please, please love on that woman. Uh, I didn't get a lot of that other than th these were the words that I would get. Oh, you're so brave. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you're doing that. You're so young. Uh, we don't want to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, you want yeah. to just get a high five and, you know, and, and, and lift us up, not make us feel like we made a really bad decision. So what could you comment on that? Because, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating when women are out there and we're not lifting them up. Yeah, I think a lot of women that say that they look at you and they don't know what else to say, but they're looking at you and like, I could never do that. Wow, I can't believe you're doing that. And I really think a lot of times we, as women are going through the transition, we will see women, you, I know the look by now. That look is like, oh, I wanna do that. How did she do that? And they're too scared to come up and ask you. But I don't think it, I think a lot of times that look is not like, what is she doing? It's like, oh, I mean, it's like a deer in the headlights. I can tell, I, I mean, I know it by now. And a lot of times they do, they're like, okay, I wanna do that, but I don't know how to do, it. I'm so scared. Um, but I, do you, be you, and don't get a what anybody thinks. Um, I, I, I had one negative comment during my, my transition. It was a relative and it was, I'm not gonna tell who it is, but uh, he said to me that, now you know that gray hair makes you look old. I said, oh, really? I don't remember asking you. 
And that was the last time he ever said anything negative to me, to, to me again. I think holding your head up high with confidence, uh, it really deters a lot of negative negativity because people don't like to fool around with a negative or a confident woman. And when you're confident in what you're doing, they're going to like, I'm not touching that. <laughs> So I think that helps a lot. I do. I love that. I love that advice, right? Just be confident, like know your why, right? Each why might be a little bit different. Uh, A lot of you know that my why was in regards to, I found lumps in my breasts um, at age 46. Mm -hmm. Uh, And sometimes we need wake up calls. So my wake up call was, oh my gosh, what if this is the C word, you know, and I'm a nutritionist, Um, know your why. My why was clear. I was like, I was done with a chemical load. I knew it was bad for me. I learned that in school when I was in my early thirties, but you know what? This is my attitude. I'll be fine. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to take my supplements. I'll work out every day. And I think I can, you know, I can handle the toxins. Like how many times we do you're a wellness coach. Let's we'll end this by just talking about, you know, the toxins in hair dye. Right. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit yeah. about that. Like yeah. you're a wellness coach, what it, menopause, endocrine disruptors, that's what you specialize in. Let's mm-hmm. just end it with the message of health. What can you say about um, mm-hmm. ditching Definitely. the t- Yeah. Mm-hmm. Women don't even think about that. They're just like, I want the dye off. And I think if I looking back on it, I would have done the pixie. I would have been like, knowing what I know now about, um, hormone disruptors and how it affects your body and the chemicals that are in hair dye I would have I would have gone you know right away Mm -hmm. I didn't know but I knew like the longer I went I learned more and I educated myself more and I realized well this is really toxic we're putting toxic chemicals on our hair we put toxic chemicals on our face on our bodies every day and um, I wanted that off of there, you know, and that can affect like, you know, women get the, get cancer, they get other illnesses from these toxins. And I mean, not everybody takes the route. I try to live as naturally as possible and, and eat healthy, but, um, and I totally forgot what the question was. <laughs> That's what happens when you turn 56. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, t- talking about toxins, you know, I mean, I, I think it's, it's a health, uh, it, it's a health decision. Also, mm-hmm. it's not just about getting rid of the hair or the dye. Right. Exactly. So it's total mm-hmm. package women. You know, we, yeah. we've got this yeah. one beautiful body and we can control a lot of what goes in here. Mm-hmm. And like you said, a lot of these toxins that have been, you know, we've been sold that we need these toxins to look a certain way. But yeah, we get sick. Too many women get sick. So, you know, women like yourself, Sherry, on social media, myself, and so many other women advocating for healthier bodies. This is one of many things that we can do to like set ourselves up um, for really good protection and preventative care. And that's what you and I both stand for. So Sherry, we could talk, I think, a very long time. And (laughs) next time I'm out your way on the East Coast, because when I... When I am in work mode, I travel all over North America, speak in this, you know, wellness, and I can't wait to one day maybe meet you and, you know, do the, not the virtual tea, what we've been doing, but actually in person. Um, So thank you for your message of inspiration. Thank you for getting out there. Thank you for being one of the brave ones that, you know, did it a long before it was cool and trendy because we we need those mentors. And uh, this is, a great story that's going to get out and I think really resonate to a lot of women. Um, so thank you so much for joining uh, Sherry. And again, I'm going to just remind you, you can follow Sherry on C Gypsy Mermaid on Instagram. She is hilarious. She is raw. She is real. Uh, and I just lo- love your energy. Um, so thank you again. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. This has been such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.